thanks. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised as you come in. Please start out by liking the video. That's very important. Please start out by liking the video. And after you like, go ahead and share out the video. Sharing is caring. Like, share. Gonna ask that you would just uh, come into the agreement with us this morning with the power of prayer. If this is your first time coming to this channel, I welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know where you are viewing from. I would love to give you a shout out. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way, when I am on, you will get the notification. You will be privileged to what God is saying to his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you are a returning viewer with Rise and Shine is Prayer Time, well, I'm happy to have you back. I am delighted to have, have you to uh, come with me this morning before the throne of grace. And we just thank God today for giving us another opportunity, another chance to come before him. Hallelujah for waking us up on this beautiful morning, starting us on our way. If it had not been for the Lord, we would not be here today. And so for that, we tell him, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If we had 10,000 tongues, as King David said, we would still not be able to praise him enough. So while we are clothing our right mind and have the, uh, the breath of God <coughs> still flowing out of our lungs and the blood of Jesus still running through our veins, we just want to lift our hands this morning and just tell the Lord, thank you. For the Bible say that men should always pray and not faint. So we come to pray and to share the word, to couple the word with prayer, to strengthen one another in prayer, to strengthen one another in the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we have been on this prayer and fasting journey for a little minute now. And we're going to continue today. Last week we talked about Jesus uh, fast and pray. The prophetess Anna fast and pray. And this morning we want to talk about our prayer point. This morning is going to be the proper way to fast. Amen. The proper way to fast. And if you are following me in the word of God this morning. I want to read in your hearing Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1 through 9. And let me make this disclaimer. The music that you are hearing in the background, I do not own the rights to the music, only using it to enhance, amen, our time together. And we thank God for the uh, person that he's given this uh music too to be a blessing to the body of christ amen and so without any further delay we're going to get into the word hallelujah hallelujah for the lord again is worthy of all the praises this morning he's worthy hallelujah so i want to read in your hearing isaiah 58 and verse 1 through 9 hallelujah and I'm reading out of the Life uh, Amplified, Life, I'm sorry, Life Application Study Bible. And so if you have your word, you may be uh, hearing it a little bit different. And it says, shout with the voice of a trumpet blast. Shout aloud, don't be timid. Tell my people Israel of their sins. Yet they act so pious. They come to the temple every day and seem delighted to learn all about me. They act like a righteous nation. 
that would never abandon the laws of God. They asked me to take action on their behalf, pretending they want to be near me. When we have fast, they say, we have fast before you. They say, why aren't you impressed? We have been very hard on ourselves, and you don't notice it. Mm. So, in essence, what they were doing, as we can see from uh, verse 3, is fasting to impress God. And they begin to feel as if God did not notice them. Mm -hmm. And so let's go again. So the Lord answered, I will tell you why. I respond. It's because you are fasting to please yourself. Even while you fast, you keep oppressing your workers. What good is fasting when you keep on fighting and quarreling? This kind of fasting will never get you anywhere with me. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Lord was telling them, and all your fasting and all of that, uh, you fasting to please yourself, very self-righteous, and you're even quarreling, and you're only going through the motions. And so we don't want to be fussing, fighting, quarreling, and uh, being self-righteous, and going through the motions. No, we don't want to do that. We want our prayer and fasting to get the attention of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So verse 5 say, You humble yourself by going through the motions of penance, bowing your head like reeds, bending in the wind. You dress in burlock mm, and cover yourself with ashes. Is this what you call fasting? God put 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 a pose a question to them. Is this what you call fasting? Do you really think that this will please the Lord? See, sometimes in our actions we have to stop and think with our actions. Are our actions really pleasing the Lord? Are our actions really lining up with God? Amen. Hallelujah. So verse 6. We're in Isaiah 58. Now we're going to verse 6. And say, no, this is the kind of fast that I want. Now God is telling the people they did it their way. But now God say, I want you to do it my way. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Rise and shine. It's praying time. Good morning to all the prayer warriors. Those that are just coming in. Please share out the video as you come in. Please like the video. So the Lord again answers them in verse 6 of Isaiah 58. He say, no, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free. Let the oppressed go free. And remove the chains that bind people. Mm. Glory be to God. And I'm going to just walk over to Micah. Micah chapter 6 and verse 8. Uh, let, me, let me just go back to verse 6 and chapter 58. No, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who, wrong, who are wrongly in prison. See, God care about that. He's telling you what he care about. He say, let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind the people. So I'm going to go to Micah chapter 6 and verse 8. I thought about this scripture as I was going over this uh, last night. Micah chapter 6 and verse 8 say, no, old people, the Lord has told you what is good. And that is what he requires of you to do what is right to love mercy, and to walk humbly before God. Hallelujah. See, God is all about doing what is right and to love mercy and to do justice. And another translation, the King James translation say, to, to love mercy 
and to do justice, come on, and to walk humbly before God. So we can take away the food all we want. But if we're not doing good and, we, and if we are not loving mercy and if we are not doing justice, all we are really doing is starving ourselves. But in this uh, time of fasting that we have been doing, we want to fast to get God's attention. Amen. Hallelujah. Not just going to the temple and, and reading scriptures. Today we'll say go to the church. Not just going through the motions. Uh, you can go back and read it for yourself in Isaiah 58. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord say he wants you to to let the oppressed go free. Bind the chains off of the people. Loose those that are wrongly in prison. Verse 7 says, share your food with the hungry. Share your food with the hungry. And give shelter to the homeless. Give clothing to those who need them. And do not hide from your relatives who need help. Do not hide from your relatives who need help. <laughs> Verse 8. Then, after you did all of that, after you did all of that, that was mentioned in verse 6 and verse 7 of Isaiah 58, and then over in Micah chapter 6 and verse 8, after you have done all of that, uh, let those that are go, that are accused uh, wrongly, to love justice, to do mercy, to help those that are naked, those that need clothes, those that need food. Huh. When you do those things, coupled with turning your plate down, then you will get God's attention. Verse 8 says, then your salvation will come like the dawn. Salvation is interchangeable with deliverance. Amen. You need deliverance. You need salvation. Then you need to let uh, Isaiah speak to you. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, after we have did all of that, then your salvation will come like dawn and your wounds will quickly heal. So if you're wounded in any kind of way, whether it's mentally, emotionally, spiritually, uh, physically, whatever kind of wounds you have, then the Isaiah told the people, then your wounds will heal quickly. Your godliness will lead you forward. Amen. Your godliness will lead you forward. When you do what is right and pleasing in the sight of God. Amen. And when you give glory to the Lord, he will protect you from behind. Glory be to God. When you do everything that the Lord has required, glory be to God. Good morning. Good morning, Dennis, all the way from uh, North Carolina. God bless you. God bless you. I know we have Tampa in the house, Miami in the house, North Carolina in the house. I don't know who else may be there. Go ahead and drop down in the comment section and let us know where you are believing and touching and agreeing with us from where you are touching and agreeing with us from amen hallelujah so again after you have did everything that the lord has required you to do he said then your salvation will come like the dawn and your wounds will quickly heal your godliness will lead you forward and the glory of the lord will protect you from behind he said then when you call the lord will answer then, hallelujah, when you call, the Lord will answer. Hey, Tampa, hallelujah, glory be to God. So after you have did all those things, gotten your heart right with the Lord, did everything that he required, amen, hallelujah, not only thought about yourself, but thought about the uh, unfortunate, the less fortunate, glory be to God. This is why God blesses us. So that we may be a blessing to others. This is why God put us on certain journeys. He said, when you let those that are falsely accused go. Amen. Hallelujah. This is why sometimes he, he make people advocates in certain spirits of life. Lawyers, so forth and so on. That can do those things. Uh, that we may be a voice for those that 
do not have a voice. Come on, somebody. Atlanta in the house. I see two viewers from Atlanta. Good morning, Atlanta. Glory be to God. We're still talking about fasting and praying. We're talking about the type of fast that will get, get God's attention. For those of you that is just coming on, uh, I'm going to encourage you this morning uh, on your lunch break sometime of the day to read Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1 through 9. This is the proper fast, amen, the type of fast that will get God's attention. He said, after you have done all those things that we already mentioned, he said, then you will call the Lord and he will answer, yes, I am here. He will quickly reply, remove the heavy yoke of oppression, stop pointing your finger and spreading vicious romas, amen, hallelujah, so we're, we're not here to point our fingers at nobody, we are not here to spread rumors on nobody, we are not here to put our, our foot on nobody's neck, we are not here to not do good when we can feed somebody, we have it in our means to do it, when we have it in our means to stand up for somebody, when we have it in our means to clothe the naked, to feed the hungry, when we do those things, come on, Micah, 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 the prophet Micah said in chapter 6 and verse 8, to do good, to love mercy, and to do justice. Glory be to God. See, at this time, the prophet was speaking to this group of people, Israel. They were just going through the motions, going through the motions, going through the temple, reading the word of God, turning down their plate, and they still in their heart was not doing the right thing. Hallelujah. But God has told us the right way to fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We don't want to spend the rest of these Wednesdays. If you are a Rise and Shine prayer warrior and you have been coming here on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and Wednesday evening, and we have uh, started this fast, I believe, for two, three weeks now, we don't want to be turning down our plate and we're turning down our plate in vain. We want to do it the right way. So we're holding on to Isaiah 58, verse 1 through 9. Thank you, Kit Kat, for posting that for those that may come in behind you. Amen. We don't want our fasting to be in vain. We want to fast the right way. Amen. We want to lose the bands of wickedness. Glory be to God. We want to be an advocate for those that don't have a voice. Come on. Hallelujah. We want to do good and love mercy. Come on. Hallelujah. And love justice. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We want what God wants for us. Glory be to God. Somebody may be saying, well, Apostle Proctor, how do I know what God wants for me? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Well, we just read that. He said, when you do all those things, he said, then, come on, hallelujah, then. And so this is like a condition, conditional, come on. Then you will call upon me, hallelujah. The Lord will answer, yes, here I am. Do you know sometimes you call upon God and he answer you quickly, speedily, just like that. That's a time when you are in right standing with the God. Hallelujah. Your hands are clean and your heart is pure. And so God cannot help but to answer you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we, we are here today. Glory be to God that we will get a revelation of the word of God. So when we are fasting and praying that we will get God's attention, not just with religion, amen, hallelujah, but with a clean hearts, hallelujah, and clean hands, come on, hallelujah, doing everything that God requires us to do. Now think about it like this, we're getting ready to pray, but think about it like this, for those of you that is viewing and that's in the prayer room this morning, for those of you that are parents, hmm, you know, 
And especially when your kids were growing up and maybe we have parents here that still is raising children and you give them chores to do. Uh, well, I don't know. Some people don't get their children chores, but I came from a household. I had chores. And then in turn, when I was raising my children, I gave them chores. And so when we do what our parents require us to do, and then sometimes they will do what? They will reward us for our acts of goodness. And so when it was time to go to the movies, and then I say, Mom, can I go? And then guess what? She say, yeah, you can go. Even though she gave some restriction. Mom, can I have this? Yeah, you can have it. Why? Because I have kept the end of my bargain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You reward your children. Not because you are paying them, amen. It's because you're letting them know, baby, I see you. Baby, I understand. You're, you're, you've been doing good to please mom, to please dad. So mom just want to give you a something. Come on. Hallelujah. And that's just like God. Come on. Hallelujah. Dennis say, yes, we had chores too. <laughs> Praise God. And so God give us these chores. Come on. Hallelujah. He say, free, free those that us wrongly accuse. Do good to those that you can help. Come on, somebody. He said, do good even to your family when they call on you. Come on. Glory be to God. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that is written in the word. Verse 7 says, share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothing to those who need them. And do not hide from your relatives who need help. Glory be to God. Sometimes we say, man, you know, I'm sick of her. I'm sick of him. But then you got to overlook sometimes people fought and meet their needs. Amen. Because God overlooked our fault and he does what? He meets our needs. Amen. So this is the right way to fast. Glory be to God. When we adhere to what God wants us to adhere to. Turning down your plate and not being in alliance in compliance with the will of God, you are just starving yourself. You just well go ahead and eat that plate, take that ice cream, eat those cookies, drink that soda, eat eat that food. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you right now for the authority of your word. We thank you for each and every person. Hallelujah. That is here to touch and agree with me in prayer this morning. God, we thank you for the reading of your word today. God, we thank you that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Your word don't return unto you void. It go into the places in which you sin it and it does the things in which you please it to do. Father, we thank you that you watch over your word to perform your word. You are not a man that you shall lie. You are not the son of man that you shall repent. We thank you for your word this morning, God. We thank you that we can come together as a body of Christ, Father, to read your word, God. We pray right now, God, that your word is hidden in our heart, that we will not sin against you, Father. God, we thank you right now that the word is the seed. And Father, the word that has been spoken this morning, that the birds of the air will not come and choke it up. The wheat of the ground will not choke it up. Father, we thank you that your word will fall on good ground that is in our heart this morning. God, we thank you for your word marinating and being stirred up in our heart this morning. Lord, we thank you right now, God. We thank you for each and every person that is on this live uh, prayer line this morning. God, I'm asking that you will touch them, Father, from the crowns of their head to the soles of their feet, God, whatever they are standing in need of, Father, whether it is revelation, wisdom, knowledge, a greater understanding of you, God, we're asking you today to do it for us today. God, we come to you as a body of believers. God, touching and agreeing with each other, touching and agreeing with your word, God. We thank you, Father. Your word say heaven and earth may pass away, but not one jot of your word. God, we thank you right now. God, we thank you for healing. Lord, it's even written in this word in Isaiah. Lord, you say that our healing shall spring forward speedily. 
And Father, whatever type of healing that the people need this morning, God, whether it's mental healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing, God, we're asking you to heal us, Father, as we go forward in this in this fasting, God, we're asking that you will purify our hearts, purify our minds, oh God. Even, God, we're standing in the gap, believing for those that we are praying for, God, our sisters, our brothers, our nieces, our nephews, our aunts, our uncles, our cousins, oh God. Those that still have living parents, God. Hallelujah, Father. Our neighborhoods, Father. Our community, God, the co-workers, Father, those we go to the house of the Lord with, God, those that are part of this uh, broadcast, this ministry, God, powerhouse ministry, God, God, we're standing in a gap this morning, God. We pray right now, God, that you will put your super upon that natural today, God. Father, we're asking that you will bring them out, Father, out of emotional uh, instability, Father. God, we pray that you would give them the mind of Christ right now, God. Father, I stand in agreement, hallelujah, with this word from my sister, God, that you're going to turn her around. Oh, God, and if anybody else is praying for somebody that is going through an emotional battle, we speak, hallelujah, the mind of Christ, the risen Christ, over them, go ahead and begin to call that person name out. We speak, hallelujah, the mind of the risen Christ upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody that's falsely accused uh, that you know of, Father, we thank you right now. You say let those that are falsely accused, let them go free, God. We are standing in the gap this morning, God, for all those prisoners. Oh, God, that are falsely accused, Father. God, we ask you, oh, God, that justice will prevail. Oh, God, that the scales of justice will be properly balanced today, Father. Hallelujah, God. We're asking you to speak to every parole officer, God. Speak to every judge, God, every attorney, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, the heart of every man is in your hand. And God, we're asking you to turn their hearts around, Father, to justice this morning, God. Father, every court case that is gone before the magistrate this morning, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over the courtroom today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind every storm in the courtroom. We bind the spirit of witchcraft in the courtroom. We bind every lying tongue, every false manifestation of the gifts of God. We bind you now in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel your assignment. We render you powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we plead the blood, the blood of Jesus over every case this morning. Oh God, we thank you, Father. We thank you that the name of Jesus speaks for your people this morning. God, we lift up the mothers and the fathers that are hurting because of their children, Father. God, we speak over the juvenile justice department, God. We speak over the lives of those children that Satan has set them in a snare. We, we bind that, that snare that Satan have over those children. We bind your powers. We cancel your authority. We uproot the seed that was sown in their life. And we send it into the fire of God to burn as wax in the name of Jesus. And we speak life over those children. We speak life in the Holy Ghost. We speak life in the Holy Ghost. In the name of the risen Savior. Oh, Father, we thank you right now that the captives are being set free today, Father. God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, God. Those, oh God, hallelujah, that are participating in wickedness in high places. We overthrow you right now. 
We overthrow you. We overthrow every false altar that has been erected. We overthrow you. We smash you to pieces. We smash you to pieces. And we command you to crumble where you cannot be put back together. And we direct you to the fire of God to burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we cover ourselves today under the blood of Jesus. Lord, we cover each and every person that's in this prayer gathering. We cover you under the blood of Jesus. We cover you are going out and coming in. We cover this day under the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you today, oh God. Hallelujah. That the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty, 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 mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. And we cast down every imagination and every high thing that exhort itself against the will of God. We bring you to the obedience and under the captivity of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you right now, God. And Father, we also ask you to forgive us, oh God, if we have uh, imprisoned anyone in any form or fashion. We repent, Father. If we have oppressed anyone in any form or fashion, we repent, hallelujah, and we loose them from our heart. And we loose them from bondage. And Lord God, we just thank you for forgiving us. If we have laid a snare in any kind of way, Father, even if it was unconscious, if we have laid any snares for anybody, God, if we have digged any dishes, dish, uh, how you say it? You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if we have digged any ditches for anybody, Father, aware and even unaware, God, we ask that you will forgive us, Father. Hallelujah. God, if we have omitted to feed and to provide shelter of food or any resources to anyone that we could have, oh God, we ask that you will forgive us, Father. God, we ask that you will create us in us a clean heart and renew in us a right spirit, oh God. We pray right now, Father, that you will break our hearts for that which break your heart. Oh God, help us to love, oh God, hallelujah, as Jesus loved. Help us to love justice and to do mercy, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We thank you, God. Father, we, we pray this morning that you will use us, oh God, hallelujah. Transform us, Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, to vessels of honor that you can use, oh God. Father, we pray, Father, not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed but by the renewing of our mind. And we present our bodies today to you, Father, as a living sacrifice. For this is our reasonable service. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we take authority, Father. In the earth ram today, we bind up every principality, power, ruler of high and dark places in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we once again, we loose the word of God and we loose the blood of Jesus to go with us through this day. Father, we pray right now that you will release your ministering spirits to minister unto the children of heirs. Father, we thank you that we are set free today through the words of our testimony. Hallelujah. And the blood of Jesus. We are set free through the blood of Jesus and the words of our testimony. And we love not our life unto death. Lord, we thank you that our prayers have gone up to the third heaven. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you for your messenger angels descending back down to the earth with the answers. Father, we thank you that we are like trees that are planted by the rivers of water. We shall bring forth our fruit in due season, and we will not be moved. Hallelujah. We stand for holiness and righteousness. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Again, for Isaiah chapter 58. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, penetrating our life and working in our life. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We praise you, God. And Lord, I thank you once again for the people of God. All those that are on this broadcast, God, I thank you. Lord, I ask that you will work miracles in their life. 
that they will begin to see miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah, God. That when they go to pray, hallelujah, as they go to pray, go forward, God, that they will know that you are with them, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We just thank you, Father. We praise you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. Well, once again, thank you guys for coming to Rise and Shine this praying time. Hallelujah. The Monday morning segment. Hallelujah with Apostle Karen Proctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. For those of you that is just coming in. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Pamela. As you know, I always uh, leave the post up there so you can go back in your time. Amen to view it if you like. And if the Lord's will and life lasts, we will meet again uh, this Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and also Wednesday uh, evening at 8 p.m., amen, on the conference line, where we would just only be praying, amen, hallelujah. I give the word in the morning, but Wednesday night we will be praying. We're going to have other prayer warriors that will come in and pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can uh, give your prayer request. You can inbox me uh, with your prayer request. Then again, if the Lord's will life lasts, we meet right here again uh, Friday morning, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Wednesdays, we have coming to agreement to fast uh starting eight no starting 9 p.m uh wednesday night 9 p.m we we fat we uh we pray 8 to 8 30 on wednesday night then we enter into fasting wednesday night at 9 a.m all the way through to thursday at noon we break the fast Thursday, noonday. Amen. Hallelujah. We are believing God for miracles, signs, and wonders. We are believing God to set the captives free. We are believing God for the miraculous. And this is why we come together in prayer and fasting that we may be stronger together. Amen. So God bless you guys. We got Jacksonville in the house. Good morning, Sister Kim. Jacksonville, Atlanta, Tampa, South Carolina, Miami. God bless you guys. Make it a great day. Bye for now and happy Monday.